Welcome to the Cordy's uh, video viewing for the auction to be held on the 9th of June. That is uh, next Tuesday. And what a wonderful jewellery, antique and art auction it is. The room is uh, full of treasure uh, and looking rather fabulous in our new premises, 553 Mount Eden Road. Uh, viewing Friday, Sunday from 11 till 3 and uh, end of Monday. Auction starting Tuesday at 10 a.m. The jewellery in this auction is outstanding. Lovely big Barry Brickle piece, fantastic carvings, and a very rare 1880s, 1890s lithograph uh, featuring Herbert Slade, who was uh, of Maori descent, who went over to America and fought for the heavyweight championship of the world in the 1880s. Uh, he stayed over there till he, till he passed away, and uh, this poster is featuring one of his, uh, his bouts that he had, maybe in, uh, maybe in Utah. So recognized in the Maori Sports Hall of Fame and really never heard of. And maybe a unique work. And flanking that, fine Chinese uh, watercolors on paper, uh, other carvings, furniture, Fantastic uh, garden ornaments, etc. etc. Yes, we'll get to the jewellery, it's not far away, but to the other side of the room. Monkey umbrella stand, maybe related to Darwinism, all very popular in that uh, 1880s sort of period, although that is certainly later. Fabulous carving here of the Last Supper, but uh, certainly in in great depth and, and profile, great bit of work. Uh, the enamel cabinet, 15 drawer, I think there's two of those in the sale, and two 10 drawer as well. Now they are more modern, but uh, certainly good quality. Uh, there's a suite of uh, furniture like this, leather trimmed and studded, and sort of with a black mirrored glass. Yeah, good paintings, a great clocks in this auction. Maybe this portrait here by Harry Lindley Richardson. This features in one of the uh, Art New Zealand uh, magazines. And this is the uh, bracket clock by Baraud of London. A very uh, top quality timepiece. And certainly the London makers are always uh, sought after. Good French provincial 19th century uh, sideboard. Great Persian rugs. Yes, yeah, so this work here is by Barry Brickle. Gentleman who uh, knew Barry, gave him two headlamps from early trains. So one of them was JA1227, and on the other side is a KA number. So he gave uh, the two headlamps from those trains to Barry and uh, Barry made him this piece. So quite a unique work. And if you're looking for a large dining table, look no further. It is. Uh, we'll get down at oak, as oak, maybe it's elm. Great uh, forefront a bureau, secretaire à baton, showing here. Tables, fantastic box there, New Zealand uh, woods inlaid. A Black Forest type um, bare seat. Block of uh, Ponamu, which is actually nephrite. Quite a heavy, large piece. Various garden urns and sculptures and chests. Uh, we've got uh, good art glass. Bright colored piece at the back there by uh, Gary Nash. And you've got uh, two pieces there by Jim Gregg. Good examples. A Viennese uh, regulator wall clock. Now that you're not traveling so much, maybe you could have the Eiffel Tower in your own home. We've got uh, crystal Waterford glasses. Magnificent KPM, very finely painted plaque. Certainly a standout piece that features on the front cover. Um, shells and crown lin. 
uh, silver. This uh, will be all essentially uh, English sterling silver in this cabinet. Maybe a little bit of Danish uh, enamel and gilded cutlery here too. Fantastic uh, original vintage Liberties of London a shop sign for Agent 4. And of course they did sell the uh, Tudor at Pewter range. We've got a piece here and Ruskin etc. There's good examples uh, of uh, those pieces in this auction also. Susie Cooper, Clarice Cliff, Moorcroft. Some other good pieces. And the jewellery. Well, this is um, a standout lot in this auction and certainly one of the uh, highlights here. Fabulous lot of rings. Just running you through here. is coming up um, at 282, uh, sort of light amethyst colour, that's a kunzite, it's a fairly recent discovery I think, uh, early 20th century by Mr Kunz who was the, uh, I think the chief jeweller for Tiffany and the earrings there, emerald and diamonds, rather special, opals, and diamond and sapphire, and a diamond necklace here, and uh, further necklaces up the top, gold-bearing quartz, highly unusual, we do not see uh, pieces like this, you know, we see the odd pendant etc, but not a whole necklace, and Chanel darling, and uh, pearls and diamonds, rather special, and the emeralds, yeah, standing out, Peter Beadle, I can see in the background, Further works by Peter Beadle and other good New Zealand artists. Let's just have a look uh, at the bottom of the shelf too. Yeah, the pearl necklaces, clocks, a watchmaker's gears and bits and pieces in the lovely old cases. And a selection of uh, pocket and wrist watches, vintage pieces. So yeah, some uh, nearly 500 lots in this auction, uh, which is on the 9th of June, uh, that is next Tuesday, on view all day Friday, uh, Sunday, from 11 a.m. till 3 p.m. Uh, and Monday. And we'll be open there on Tuesday morning before the auction starts also. So uh, yeah, certainly a standout auction and uh, very pleased to bring this one to you. And uh, hope you can get along and see you here. But uh, if you can't, then um, bidding can happen online. It can happen on the phone. Uh, that's live bidding online. Uh, bidding live on the phone. Um, or you can attend the auction or leave an absentee bid. So various ways uh, of doing that now. So hope to see you here.